Good morning, Ooh, my darlings. It is our London day trip today. It feels like we're going on a very exciting excursion into the big city. It's so funny because obviously this used to be just an everyday occurrence, um, but now it's a big day trip. So I'm really looking forward to today. Uh, I am actually meeting Vicky. We're going to get our nails done together. Annoyingly, um, one of my nails pinged off. I think it was as a result of gardening. So we're popping into London Grace. They're gonna fix mine and I'm gonna sit with Vicky while she has a proper manicure. Charlie has some snaps he needs to get in Moss Bros. He's doing a collaboration with them, so I'm gonna help him with that. And then um, we are gonna go to Albright in Mayfair and have a lovely little drink um, and lunch there. So it should be a really nice day. We're getting the train, so I think it's gonna be a really easy journey hopefully it's our first time going there and back on the train so it will be a test as to how smooth this journey is so planning on parking at the train station and then getting the train so yeah it should take us about an hour and 20 minutes in total which is pretty darn easy from door to door I'm gonna quickly show you my outfit of the day before we head out oh no I'm gonna miss them plowing the fields oh that's so annoying I literally wanted to sit and watch them doing it can you see the tractor coming now Oh, that's such a shame. I really wanted to watch it. <laughs> I'm gonna miss it today. Darn it. So a super quick outfit of the day. Um, I have popped on, these are both old pieces. I say old, they're from like a year or two years ago. This Reese blouse, just the most beautiful pink shade. Um, it's quite sheer, so I have got on a skin colored brassier, and then it's got this really cute kind of piece of pan style collar. My new Fendi sunglasses and new Loewe bag. And then this skirt, I haven't worn it out the house yet, so I'm really excited to kind of give it its debut. It is from Zimmerman, but I got it from the Outnet, so I got it at a really good price. I used Shop Tagger for this, and I was just so, so chuffed with this discovery. It's quite long, so when I'm marching through the streets of London, I am going to have to just hold it a little bit. And then I've popped on my Chloe mules in the pink. I've got these in pink and brown, and I thought they just paired really nicely with blouse and then jewelry wise I have currently got on my little oop, ASOS um, bracelet this was six pounds such a bargain and then my rings are from Majuri not focusing but yeah they are from is that gonna focus yeah rings from Majuri earrings are these little hoops from Edge of Ember and then I am gonna be asking Charlie to help me put on this bracelet also from Majuri, which is probably my favorite bracelet at the moment. It's just this very elegant and simple string of pearls, basically the pearl necklace equivalent on um, in bracelet style. My camera does not want to focus today, my goodness. So annoying, but yes, it is a two person job to get this on. So Charlie will be helping me with this one. I'm gonna take my new camera to get some shots and my makeup bag and we're good to go. Okay, so it is just over an hour later and we are now slap bang at central London, just outside Selfridges. It's quite busy here on Oxford Street but it wasn't too busy walking down Baker Street to get here. Hope you can hear me, I've got my, my black needle and thread mask on today because I've got a little bit more makeup on than last time, don't want to ruin the mask. Um, so we are heading now to Moss Bros. Charlie's checking out their tailoring service and then I think we're going to find somewhere for a nice coffee maybe Selfridges Root Sorry, that might be quite nice yeah. look up there and then I'm getting my nails done with Vicky just after one o'clock alrighty it's a few hours later we have had our nails done I was just saying it feels so nice having fresh nails I feel like a, a new a new woman went for uncovered this time and they look absolutely glorious and we've now come to the Verve Cleek I'm just keeping my voice down because it's quite intimate we've now come to the Verve Clico Terrace at Albright and it's absolutely stunning they've got floral decoration everywhere we've got a little area with a parasol and we're just enjoying a glass of champagne perusing the menu and it's a beautiful day so it's all very lovely this is the menu I'm pretty sure I just saw the word gorgonzola yes I did so I'm a happy lady and we've got our glasses of bubbles and it's all rather beautiful. Look at this. So 
lunch is served. I have got a lovely chicken salad, we've got some carrots, we've got some radish in there and lots of quinoa. And then we've got a little bit of tuna and tacos. Are they tacos? They're tacos. Tacos. Yes. Taco chips. And then we've got chips and chipotle and watermelon. This is a real like okay. colourful mixture. Very Absolutely. Chin chin. Okay, I've just finished our lovely lunch and champagne at Albright with Vicky. I would highly recommend a visit there. Really nice menu, very light, um, gorgeous champagne, and just the most beautiful terrace, a perfect little spot. They, they called it an English country garden in the heart of Mayfair, um, and I had an English country garden cocktail. I think mine was called the Wild Rose, and Vicky's was literally called the English garden. It's so delicious. And now we just say goodbye. I'm going to meet Charlie at Marlborough Station via a little walk down Bond Street. It is absolutely dead. I don't think I've ever known Bond Street to be this quiet, so I'm going to make the most of it. Have a look in a few little shops. I think I'm going to nip into Victoria's Secret as well because I haven't actually seen their. Is it for Love and Lemons? Yes, I think it's for Love and Lemons. I haven't seen their collaboration in real life, so I'm going to go and check that out. I've had a couple of glasses of champagne, so I feel like this is the trend now. I come into London, get a bit tipsy. <laughs> I'm not tipsy, I'm just jolly. But I'm just gonna have a little reach around the shops and then head back home. Building is my season, lay foundation, make a name for generations, please and make a and take a break or a little vacation and chase and blues away. You always posting a pictures, trying to look like you winning, or look like you always be working. Soak in the moments you live in, yeah You got the nerve to be on me Faking your life for the IG If you got my number, don't add me Cause baby, I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus mm. I'm on hiatus uh -oh. Baby, don't check for me Quite surreal. There are so many shops which are just closed. Never seen Bond Street like this before. That shop empty, 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 empty. It's really sad to see. This is prime London real estate. My goodness. This whole row is pretty much closed. So Victoria's Secret. I don't remember it being quite so expensive for such average quality so I didn't buy anything didn't try anything on I picked up a silk dress and it was 105 pounds but it wasn't silk it was polyester um, so not too impressed with Victoria's Secret this time around I'm gonna head to Oxford Street and see if there's an intimissimi so I think their prices are a little bit more fair so there is a short queue to get into Zara it's been goodness me five months since I last went into a Zara. So, okay, it's my turn, let's give it a go. I can actually imagine this looking really cute. It's actually really nice material. It's only $7.99, that is absolutely bonkers, but I think that could be a really nice summer crop top. So I'm gonna grab this. These shoes look very Bottega-esque. I don't think I need any shoes of this style, but, $49.99, I thought they might be a little bit more affordable. Very nice though, very, very nice. I have to admit, I do love this color at the moment and this material is really nice. It looks like linen. Don't know if I need this, but appreciating it nonetheless. If anyone does have any summer holidays coming up, this is a really lovely option. It's like a kind of white, almost broderie-ish cover up. A little tie in the middle there, very nice. 
I am very drawn to this kind of English country garden pattern. $49.99, extra small. That is a really nice silhouette. Quite tempted by this actually. I think I might treat myself. This is a gorgeous silhouette. Kind of 60s inspired. These sandals are an excellent design and dupe. I think it's Saint Laurent that have some like this. These are $25.99. I don't need them, but they would be a really good buy. Okay, these are super cute. So they remind me a little bit of the Hermes sandals with the shape to them. They're $29.99. I reckon they could be really nice shoes wearing around the house. I think I might give these a try love these i don't need any more pearl earrings but they are absolutely gorgeous this is the kind of thing i love wearing in the summer just so nice and lightweight beautiful colors that is absolutely beautiful if you're going to any greek islands this summer i'm very jealous and that would be absolutely perfect So apparently this is a dress. <laughs> it looks absolutely minuscule, but I love the puffy shoulders. But I feel like my bottom would be on display the entire time. I keep coming back to this dress though. I think I might need it in my life. It's such a gorgeous colour. It's like a, a linen-y sage. And it looks so comfortable. It is. $49.99. Mm, I think I can live without it. one extra special piece to make the queue worthwhile and I just didn't think any of the pieces were quite special enough so I left them. They didn't have quite as good a selection as they did pre-covid I would say. As you can see Oxford Street has got quite a bit busier so I think I'm going to take one of the side streets to walk back towards the station. to get into Selfridges. It seems rude not to visit my favourite store while I'm on Oxford Street. At least they've got signs saying of the compulsory face masks. the vibe of the Gucci pop-up sale. So beautiful. This is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my goodness. I love this horse bit design. It matches my little belt. I just can't see myself needing a new handbag at the moment with the ones that I picked up lately online. Oh that is so cute. Even the coat hanger is beautiful. Hmm. 
I always get so much inspo from the mannequins at Chloe. Trying to recreate these outfits with more high street pieces, but this blouse is absolutely gorgeous. A good little indication as to autumn trends. The mini version of my little Chloe bag that is absolutely adorable. It's totally impractical, but very cute nonetheless. Gorgeous. pretty uneventful shopping trip. I actually didn't buy anything. Um, I don't know, nothing really inspired me in the Selfridges, although it was very nice to have a little look at what was available. It felt just a little bit like normal life in um, on Oxford Street. So I'm now heading home. Unfortunately, my feet are covered in blisters. I've not worn heels in quite a long time. Um, so I've hopped in a cab up to Marlebone Station. I've got my laptop with me, so I think I'll do a little bit of editing on the train and I'll catch up with you when I'm back home. home again and I have kissed my little boys a lot. My face is now a bit smelly because I have been licked by this little monkey. And we have some lovely deliveries. This, oh goodness me I'm staggering. This has been so kindly sent from De Beers. I think this is from the lovely Annabelle. So Annabelle actually helped Charlie when he was choosing my beautiful ring. The customer service there is honestly just spectacular and we have received a gorgeous little gift from them. I think it might be one of the beautiful De Beers candles. Let's have a little look inside. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that smells beyond heavenly. Wow. De Beers, can you smell it? Yeah. Yeah. How beautiful is that? Annabelle has so kindly sent us this beautiful candle and it smells absolutely heavenly. Um, it just says scented candle to be as home of diamonds since 1888. That is so, so gorgeous. Thank you very much, De Beers. And I don't know who this is from, but I have a flower box delivery. Hmm. So the beautiful flower box delivery was actually from Guerlain. They have sent the most beautiful romantic red roses. They are, they're not even showing up. They're full beauty in that light. I wonder if I take them outside. You can see how stunning they are. That is like proper Parisian proposal by the Eiffel Tower <laughs> red roses. They're absolutely stunning. Even this light is not showing quite how vivid and red they are. They're absolutely beautiful. And it is to celebrate National Lipstick Day. They've also very kindly sent over a couple of their Rouge G pieces. So the Rouge Gs, you get the most gorgeous case. Um, I'll pickle that off very carefully in a second so as not to ruin my fresh nail varnish. Um, but the cases are really substantial cases. This has got the most beautiful um, red kind of leather croc effect. And then you can mix and match the lipstick that goes inside. This is a balm and primer, which is really handy because my lips have actually been quite dry lately. So I need to put a primer on before my lipstick. But obviously you can mix and match. So you could buy one of these cases and then pop a few different of your lipsticks in depending on what you're wearing that day. Or if you've got a favorite lipstick, you can mix and match your case. Really versatile. And then you can just buy the lipstick refill instead of having to buy a new case every time. So really gorgeous delivery from the girls at Galan. Thank you very much.